Okay, so before we actually start building out our project, there's one more step that I kind of like to do. You don't really have to do this right now, but I always kind of do. Head over to localhost colon 8000 and then type in slash admin. Now, Django comes with an administration area and it allows you to do database stuff. So we don't have any database stuff yet, but we will in the future. So we might as well set this up now. It's just a sort of a common thing. So it wants a username and a password, and we don't have a username and a password yet because we haven't set that up. So that's what we're gonna do in this video. So head back over to our uh, Git Bash terminal. Now notice this is running, and you can see this little command prompt is no longer down here, right? That's because the server's running always in the background. And we can hit Control C to break out of that server. But when we do, if we come back here and hit reload, we get an error. Right, so the server has to be running in order for your project to run in the web browser. So that's kind of tricky because from time to time, we're gonna wanna run commands in this Git Bash terminal. So what I always do is I always just keep the server running all the time, and then I'll just open a second Git Bash terminal. So I'll head over to my Windows Start menu, type in Git or Git Bash, click the little thing, it pops up here. We have a, a brand new terminal, so we can just sort of resize this real quick. Now we want to change into our C uh, Django stock directory. And now we need to turn on our virtual environment again. Uh, scripts activate. And when we do, boom, this thing pops up. So now we can uh, CD into our stocks directory. And then this is where we always want to be. We always want to be where we see the manage.py file because we always want to run the manage.py file in order to run commands in Django. So we're in C Django stocks slash stocks and we're good to go. So the first thing we need to do is set up a user for that admin area. And I'm just going to head back over here real quick and hit reload, it already has popped back up. So our server's running again, and we're good to go. So like I said, just keep this server running in a different Git Bash terminal, and then use your commands in this one. So in order to set up a user, first we have to migrate the database so that we can log in to see the database. There has to be a database. And database stuff in Django is always a two-part project. You always uh, create the database and then migrate it. So the, the database was sort of created when we started our project, but now we need to migrate it. We need to push it into the system, basically. So to do that, we just type in Python manage.py. It's always Python manage.py when we issue commands, usually from now on. And we now we just type in migrate to migrate the database. And it'll probably take a second. In the meantime, this thing popped up. I don't think this was here before. It's DB SQLite 3. This is the database thing we just migrated, right? So now we can head back over here and you can see it applied the migrations and it did everything. All right, so we're almost there. Now we need to create a, uh, a user, right? So usually the command is python manage.py and then create super user. But we're on the git bash terminal and that doesn't quite work because we're not running in something called TTY. Now we don't really care what that means. All we need to do, all we care about, is we need to modify that command just a little bit. We just type in win p t y and then python manage.py create super user. So if you ran that command the first time and it worked on your computer, you're good to go. If it didn't work, type in the win pty, and then python manage.py create super user. So create your username. I'm just going to call myself the admin. And then you can type in an email address at whatever. It doesn't really matter. And then create a password. And you'll notice whenever I type this in, it doesn't show up on the screen. That's a security thing. All right, so super user was created successfully. Now we can head back over to this admin area here and type in our new username and our password. And when you do, we can log in and you can see, boom, we have this groups thing. We don't really care what this is. We have this users thing. This is just our user that we just set up. So if you wanna create more 
admins or more users in your system. You can do it through here. Uh, we don't really care about that for this course. Uh, so now we're good to go. So there's nothing else here at the moment, but later on when we start adding our stock quote database stuff, that stuff will show up on the screen so we can make changes behind the scenes if we want to. We don't really need to do that, but it's it's a fun tool to have and it's good to know how to use it at least, even if you're not planning on using it for this particular project. So that's pretty much all there is for the admin area of Django. In the next video, we're gonna jump in and actually start to build out our new app and sort of take the first steps for that. And that'll be in the next video.